Whether you have an audio podcast or a video podcast, or maybe you are about to start one, what I'm about to share with you is going to save you hours of time because here's the thing, bring it in. Podcasting can be sneaky with exactly how many tools and things you might need to get one up and running, right? You have your recording equipment and then your recording software, your editing software, not to mention if you're gonna be doing remote interviews, you need a software for that as well. And if you're gonna be adding video, that's another layer of things, right? Your video equipment, your video editing software, and then uploading all this to a host so you can distribute it. That's a lot. What's really cool though, there are two tools that have recently combined forces, actually one acquired the other. And now as a result of this, it's like a dream come true for podcasters because all of these different requirements are now consolidated to just this. This is the new Descript combined with Squadcast. I'm gonna show you exactly what this means and how much this helps out us podcasters so much. All right, here's a quick little video project I wanna share with you and some of the most powerful things that I love about Descript. So I'm gonna hit play on this and you're gonna notice something interesting in the middle. Hello, my name is Pat Flynn, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and today I'm gonna to be talking about podcasting and Descript. All right, so the A, B, C, D thing is weird, so I'm going to go in the transcript and delete that and hit play from the beginning and watch this. Just in an instant, it changes. Hello, my name is Pat Flynn, and today I'm gonna be talking about podcasting and Descript. Yes, it edited both the audio and the video with simply a change in the transcript. That's just, it continues to blow my mind. Not to mention the idea that I can just quickly put captions on this and then share it on social media. Hello, my name is Pat Flynn, and today I'm gonna to be talking about podcasting and Descript. And if I wanna add B-roll, just simply separate this area here at the end, and I'm gonna highlight that, go to View Media, and use their library of videos to add to that, just like this. Talking about podcasting and Descript. Crazy. And now with Squadcast a part of this thing, I mean, everything you need for podcasting is right here, and anything you need for remote recording, to have it in Descript, I mean, it's just, I mean, it just works. So let me show you. Now here in Descript, I can click new and hit remote recording. If I know that on the fly, I'm gonna do remote recording, somebody's like, yeah, I'll go on now. That's the way I would go about it, just to create this Squadcast room and then be able to get right into it, right? And I can get the invite link from here and send it to my friend and we can get on a call and record it from there. But I prefer to actually use Squadcast. And again, if you have Descript, you will get access to Squadcast. And here you can set up a new session and schedule it and have it send reminders out to your guests and all those kinds of things. But what's really powerful here is either way, when you record a show using Squadcast, you can, with just a couple clicks of a button, immediately begin to edit that inside of Descript and do some very powerful things. For example, I recorded an interview today here in Squadcast with a friend of mine, Jason Pfeiffer, and I wanna get the files. So I'm gonna hit get all files, go down to our first take, we only did one take, which was great, and hit select all. This will select both myself and Jason's separate video and audio tracks. And as you can see here on the right-hand side, there's a button now that says edit in Descript. So I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna edit all MP4s, which is the video file. I could do the WAV files or the MP3s for audio only, but I want both the audio and video to come along with it, and Squadcast does record the highest quality video. These are the file names from Squadcast, myself and Jason's track, create project and import files. That'll put it directly into Descript. Now you'll see here there is a web-based version of Descript that you can edit in. However, I prefer the desktop app. And so I'm gonna open the desktop app, center this for you, and it's just gonna take a minute. It's going to actually download the files and then properly put the transcript in there automatically. You'll see it in just a moment. Okay, that took a total of about two minutes. Of course, results will vary based on your internet speed as far as the downloads, but we have the transcripts now. As you can see, there's Jason's track and my track, track one. I can change the name of these things and go, okay, track one, let's actually rename that to Pat Flynn and go from there. It changed it throughout the whole thing. Let's do the same thing for Jason's here. Jason's, let's rename to Jason Pfeiffer. Boom. All right, now the transcript is ready and I could actually export this if I want and put it in a PDF file or on my website. But as you'll notice that as I click through, even when Jason is talking, it's still me. There's really a question of whether or not I should like try to. And that's because in the layers here, my video layer or track one is above Jason's. If I move Jason above me, now we see Jason. Maintain eye contact with the camera oh, okay. the whole time. 
So how do we go about having multi-cam so that the AI knows when to place myself and Jason on camera when we're speaking? Very simple, I'm gonna go back to the top here. I'm gonna click into Jason script and hit multi-cam. And then instead of going script Jason or script track one, I'm gonna hit active speaker. Now when I press play, watch use, this. Um, do you use the video? Uh, I may use the video or at least pieces of it, mm -hmm. but I, uh, I'm not gonna. So as you can see, it switches back and forth now depending on who is speaking. The AI knows how to do that, which is really amazing. Now, a lot of this first part of the conversation here is just us sort of getting ready for the podcast. I'm gonna scroll down to when we're ready to go. Right here it says, here we go, three, two, one. All right, here we go, three, two, and one. Jason, welcome back to the SPI podcast. Okay, so I wanted to start right here. So I'm gonna hit up and scroll up and delete everything before that. All right. Jason, welcome back to the SPI podcast. Thanks for joining me today, man. Always great to be here. And it's exciting because we're gonna be talking about your involvement now in SPI even more. So that's one way to go about doing it. But as you can see, I didn't have to bring it into a video editing software and mess with the tracks and you know switch cameras on you know command. Uh, it just does it automatically, which is really amazing. Now, what's really neat about this too is you can create templates, your own branded templates for your podcast or your videos so that when these things get imported from Squadcast again, they can be automatically placed into some design that you already have. Now, I have an old one. I'm gonna hit choose template and I'm gonna hit this template right here, the Ask Pat template. And you'll be able to see in just a moment, there we go. We're both side by side. The cam is doing what it needs More to do. More than already, you've been a guest here on our Friday episodes with Matt and our round table with Terry. How awesome is that? So you can design your own templates and then with a, a click of a button, your interviews are already in the format that they need to be. And of course you can get as creative as you want with those designs. Same rules apply here. You can remove the filler words, just one or several if you'd like. Uh, there's 251 across this now in a, conversation like this, I would likely keep the filler words just because it sounds more natural. It's just how we speak sometimes. But if you wanted to do this with your solo episodes or some videos that you create for YouTube, removing those can make the video a little bit more engaging and more professional. And then from here, once I'm satisfied with this whole thing, I can hit publish. Um, of course, I can always edit an intro and add it to the beginning or an outro to the end. And when I hit publish, I can export it or even publish it to different places, YouTube, Buzzsprout for a podcasting host, uh, various places. Um, I typically export it and then just have my team take it from there. Speaking of team, you can also have other team members here as well working on this project as well with Project Access. Anyway, this Descript Squadcast marriage is absolutely awesome. Big congrats to the team at Squadcast. I was an advisor for that company and I'm very proud of the team there and I'm happy uh, the Descript is, is 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 improving and it's just awesome just in so many ways for us podcasters. So definitely check it out. If you wanna go through my affiliate link to check out Descript and get access to Squadcast at the same time, hit up patflynn.com slash Descript. Again, that's patflynn.com slash Descript. And check out some of my other videos here that go over some of the other AI tools like Overdub, which allows the software to copy your voice and actually insert it into a podcast or video as well. Pretty wild. Go ahead and check it out right here.